I am going to explain about mastering ALE IDOC end-to-end -end configuration. Hope this will be helpful. IDOC, Intermediate Document. An IDOC serves as a data container used for transferring data between systems. This transfer can occur between SAP systems or between SAP and non-SAP systems. The process of configuring the system to facilitate data transfer from one SAP system to another is known as Application Link Enabling, ALE. ALE IDOC specifically handles data transfer between SAP systems. For transferring data from SAP to a non-SAP system, you would require Electronic Data Interchange, EDI, or Remote Function Call, RFC, function modules. IDOC is capable of transferring various types of data, including master data such as material master, vendor master, customer master, etc., transaction data like purchase order details, sales orders, and even custom data. Each IDOC is assigned a unique number for tracking purposes. To summarize, SAP to SAP communication relies on ALE, application linking enabling, and does not involve flat files. SAP to non-SAP communication, or vice versa, relies on EDI, electronic data interchange, and involves the use of flat files. IDOC structure and records. Control record contains information such as IDOC no, direction, basic type, message type, partner, date and time. These records are stored in the transparent table edit. Data record it contains the actual data that is sent to or received from a partner. Also contains the details of IDOC segments. IDOC segment has fields that contains the data necessary for posting the document. Data record information is stored in the data dictionary table edit. Status record it defines the processing status of IDOC. This is used to track the IDOC. Status no represents the IDOC status. The no range 0 to 49 indicates an outbound IDOC and 50 to 75 as inbound IDOC. 03 success message outbound. 53 success message inbound. E2E Configuration Steps, ALE IDOC Sale, create logical system giving name to the sender and receiver. Sale, assign logical system logical system gets assigned to client. SM59, maintain RFC, remote function cal. L, destination link B slash W to application, RFC destination, IP address. We21, create port will be done from the sender end through which the data passes. BD64, maintain distribution model creation of container, sender, receiver, message type, triggering, immediate slash background job. We20 generate partner profiles, LSL. Logical system, LAE vendor, KU customer, process codes, MATM, CRE1, ORDE, etc. Example. Sender system, 800 receiver system, 810. Click on Save button. Receiver system, 810. Note. No need to create a logical system once again in client 810 because it's a cross client. The data what we created above ZLS 800 sender logical system and ZLR 810 receiver logical system it will be reflected in client 810 as shown in below figure. Step 2. Assign logical system to client in sender system, client 800. Path, T code, sale basic settings logical system assign logical system to client. Double click on 800 client. Assign logical system equals ZLS 800 in client 800, sender logical system assigned to ZLS 800 to receiver system. Assign logical system to client in receiver system, client 810. Path, T code, sale basic settings logical system assign logical system to client. Double click on 810 clients. Assign logical system equals ZLR810 in client 810, 
receiver logical system assigned to ZLR810 to receiver system. Create an RFC destination in sender system. Input the RFC destination as ZLR810 and description, receiver logical system as shown in below figure 1. Enter the logon details as shown in below figure 2. Click on connection test as shown in below figure 3. Connection test, remote logon should come in yellow color and no red color. Create an RFC destination in receiver system. Input the RFC destination as ZLS800 in description, receiver logical system as shown in below figure 1. Enter the logon details as shown in below figure 2. Connection test, remote logon should come in yellow color and no red color. Step 4. Create a port in sender system, 800 clients. Enter the description as sender port and RFC destination as ZLR810. Click on Save. Now RFC port has been created Z800 underscore 810 as shown in below fig. Note, creation of the port is not required in receiver system client 810. Step 5. Maintain distribution model. Distribution model has been created, it will get updated in last Z800 underscore 810. Select the distribution model views material and click on environment and click on the generate partner profile as shown in below figure. Now everything should be in green color. Select the receiver logical system and continue. The model view of target system ZLR810 has been created. Note, no need to create once again in 810 receiver client it is automatically has been created. Step 6. Generate partner profile in sender client 800. Execute T code V20 and select the partner type. Expand the partner type LS and select receiver logical system ZLR810 as shown in below figure. Generate a partner profile in receiver client 810. Input the partner no has sender logical system ZLS800 and enter the details of TY user Lang as shown in below figure. Testing. Create a material in sender client 800. T code MM01 to create a material in sender client 800. The material 494 has been created in client 800. In receiver client 810, we can see that material 494 has not been activated or created. Send the material in T code BD10 in sender client 800. We can see that communication IDOC for message type has been generated in below figure. We 02T code to see the list of IDOCs. Enter the details like created on and execute. Now we can see the IDOC number generated. The status 03 represent the success of this message, data passed to port. Receiver client 800. Check the material in receiver client 810 in T code MM03 display.
all the data related to material has been received in 810 client. Thank you.